Speaker. I rise today to speak on Bill 161. Uh, speaker, I express concern with this bill at second reading, particularly with Schedules 4, 15, and 16, which propose changes to the Legal Aid Services Act and the Class Action Proceedings Act. And since my time is limited, I'm going to focus on these areas in my remarks today, especially since there seems to be a consensus among a number of legal experts that despite minor amendments, this bill still has serious problems in these areas. So while I'm pleased the government was willing to amend the legislation to ensure that the stated purpose of Legal Aid Ontario will still be to ensure access to justice, this was an issue I and others had raised at second reading. I am troubled that they refused to amend the legislation to continue to mandate that Legal Aid Ontario shall and the key word is here, shall, continue to provide representation in areas such as criminal law, family law, employment law, immigration law, and mental health law. In light of the 30% cut imposed on legal aid in 2019, this fundamental change sets the stage for Legal Aid Ontario to justify not serving everyone who meets qualifications for legal aid. I'm disturbed that no substantive changes were made to these schedules concerning the Class Proceedings Act, which experts have suggested will significantly restrict the rights of people to seek class action justice in this province. Given the government's preoccupation with shielding itself and other large actors from legal harm, I'm unfortunately not surprised, but I am disappointed and I am worried because these schedules will limit accountability and restrict access to justice. Just think of some major cases such as class action lawsuits related to the Walkerton water scandal or the Tata blood scandal or indigenous youth in residential schools. These changes and the way they affect um, access to judge justice especially affects people from marginalized communities. If the government is serious about tackling issues such as systemic racism, for example, then access to justice, especially through legal aid, must be increased, not restricted. Speaker, because of these problems with these three schedules in the bill, I will be voting against Bill 161, and I encourage the members of this legislature to also vote against Bill 161. Thank you, Speaker.